bunch of cars. Ooh, I might have to get my tickets out of the, the front. How you doing? Hey guys. I, I got, just going. I have tickets for, I guess, the public or yeah. the yeah. admission. Just make a U-turn, yeah. turn okay. right out the light, and okay. they'll, they'll bring you back on the bus like that. Okay. What's up everyone? So the R8 is parked behind me here in this public lot. We are attending Eurofest 2018 for the first time. I'm super excited to be here. I've been wanting to come to this event since I had the Lotus and I just never really did it. I didn't feel like registering my car this year because I wasn't sure of the time frame. I think you have to leave your car until like four o'clock. So we're out in the public lot again. There's some pretty cool cars showing up, but we'll go ahead and take a look. We have to catch a bus over to the lot. seatbelts when I was a kid. I think we can see it. Oh, I see the first Audi. Right there. Right there. Right. Right there. There we go. So I'm pretty sure it's outside here. Look. See? Over there. Yeah. Ooh. Thank you. All right. Right. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I got two. You got both? Yep. Thank you, sir. Eurofest, here we come. What do you think of this little Fiat? Oh, we can sign it. Do you want to sign it? Yeah, I know what I'm going to put. Okay. Well, hold on. The markers are over there. Oh, you got one? Okay. What are you going to write? Not exactly what I'm going to write. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they're still the t-shirt. This is what I did on that R8 at the Audi dealer once. Oh, you are so smart. Lock your tag. You are so smart. I would have never thought of that. Holy crap. You're so smart. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. That's hilarious. Hey, so there's, yeah, there's the Lotus. The Lotus guy is right there. So see, if, if I had registered my car, we would have had... You're not moving, you know? All these cars are stationary, so what? The Lambo? Yeah. We'll go check that out. This is what Parker has. That wrap I just showed you that he got. How do you want to do this? Do you want to circle you want to circle this way and then we'll come all the way back up and finish on the motorcycles? Yeah. Okay. So it's a good thing we brought the umbrellas, but if I brought my car, we would have been parked right here. I don't think so. Maybe. I'm not sure. It looks nice. I wish I wish I had the upgraded. I think the 2012 and newer V8s had the exhaust like this. Mine's the dual on both sides. Yeah. Yeah. But I like this look better. Oh, look at the seats. I don't have uh, I don't have stitching like that. No. But I have all the carbon fiber and everything. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. Okay. I like all the silver. You see how his grill is different than mine? But at least there's an R8 in my place, right? Yeah. So um, I saw, look at that BMW. Look at the fender oh. flares on that. We'll have to yeah. come back to that. To yeah. Look at this little car. This is a, um, oh, this is a BMW. Someone drove it? Yeah. Look out, come here. Look how you get in the front of it. You have to open up the whole front. Oh, he just closed it. Okay. But you just hop in the front there. I had to close it because of the rain. Yeah, no, I'm, that's okay. I, we saw it. Did you drive this here? Or tra I trailered it. Tra yeah. That's why well, I'm sure it doesn't... How fast did it go? I got up to 70 yesterday. Yeah? On a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> that's about 45 miles an hour top speed. Okay. I think I've only seen two of these in person. Yeah, they're rare. Yeah. Does it have a clutch? It's a manual? Yeah, it's a manual. Okay. <laughs> see, the shift is on the Oh, okay. Wow. Look at how small the... Look at how small the clutch pedal is. It's a manual. That's the clutch pedal right there. <laughs> I don't know if it's static or on air ride. I'm sure we can read the plaque there. What do you think of this Ferrari? It's almost the same color as that Lambo. That Audi was at um, the tent event that we went to. This is lady driven. This is a girl's. It has a yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. We didn't get to see that last time. She didn't have anything opened up, but oh the oh the bus. Okay, look, he's got a camper and everything. 
Here's a GT2 RS. He just he just owns this one, so he owns these three here. That's a huge car collection. So all these Nurburgring stickers, you guys, are the same owner. I don't, are these Renaults? Yeah, Renaults. I've never seen one over here before. Back to Mercedes. You guys, there are some million dollar cars down there that we are gonna get to. Some I've never even seen before. I cannot wait to get down there. It's raining on us a little bit today, but hopefully it just stays like this. This is a pretty fun event. There are so many cars here. A spiker? A spiker, yeah. It's a 2009. I forgot how much these are. Wow. This is an SLR. These are like half a million. What do you think of it? I don't want it. No? <laughs> I'm filming it. <laughs> Come here. Whenever I'm with you. Are you gonna come look at yeah. look at this? Yeah. This is a 918. These are I think they're going for a, around a million, maybe a little more. I've never seen one in person before. They have the that is really brain, cool. Uh, yeah. Well, this is a hybrid too. Oh, the seat belts are orange too, or it's not orange, green. Look at all that. That's really cool. Wow. Here's the exhaust on each side. That's really neat. And then that huge carbon fiber wing. Oh. Hey, so you see how yeah, his license plate is in Montana? Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay sales tax on a car if you register it in Montana which is probably like 150, 200 grand for this to get that tag. Mm -hmm. This is a McLaren MP4-12C, what I want to replace the R8 with. But what do you like better, orange or gray? Wait, orange or the gray? I like it's kind of like the same color as my car. I think But I love these wheels. If those wheels were that color, then I would like it. Well, they're the same wheels, just, yeah. Yeah. This or a 570S, I'm not sure yet. I'm sorry. Here's a Diablo SV. These are like from the Need for Speed days. It's been a long time since I've seen a Diablo in person. Before. When? When did you drive one? You didn't tell me to film it? Oh, yeah. Wow. I, I thought it was another 918 just because it, it, from the other side. Oh my gosh. This is. This is the dream car. These are these are like think about it is, all the people that own these are old men. These these are very rare. This is like the holy grail. How many miles does it have? Sixteen thousand. Okay. Are these all owned by the same person? Yeah. All what, five of these, six of these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. It's a nice garage. Yeah, really. So if you guys just heard the same owner owns all six of these cars, which one would you guys take? Which one is your favorite? I think it's tough between the, the Porsches. One. The 918. Man, I'd love to drive that Spiker. I've never seen one in any video or anything. But yeah, I think the 918. Comment down below, what would you guys choose in this car collection? This Bizar Bizarnini Liv Livorno, a 1967 Biz Bizarnari Targa. I've never even heard of that before. Come look how look how um, tight it is in here, and the like mechanical looking e-brake. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, that is a oh wow. It has a Lambo engine in it. We're in Ferrari, Ferrari territory here. What do you think? That's a nice red on a, on the 458, 488. I love that red. I don't think I like your Audi better. You I like my you, Audi better? I wish your Audi was black like that man's. You wish my car was black? Yeah. So I have to wrap it black now? 
What do you guys think? Should I wrap the R8 black like that one we just saw? I don't know. Hey, there's a whole bunch of four C's. I think my favorite section was that one dude's collection. Yeah. Where? The bus? The bus is that Fiat? That's a... Fiat bus? Is it a Fiat? Let's go check it out. I've never seen a Fiat bus. Before. The doors are opposite. You have suicides in the front and reverse in the rear. Look at how much room's in the back. Whoa. It's a manual. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's cool. That is so funny. It looks like it has plenty of space for you to be comfortable in it. Yeah. A, a, a multipla? A Fiat multipla. I yeah. Like I didn't either. I don't. It looks like the muscle car. Yeah, it does. Thing. That is kind of neat. I bet you will never see one again. This is a 1925 Bentley three-liter speed model. Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, we can't see it obviously because it's still raining out, but. Maybe this is like a self-driving car? Oh, sorry. Well, I, know, I, think, I think you're right. Self-driving. Right. Self-driving. No, Self-driving. It's, self it's not? Okay. Is it electric? All electric? It's, it's not all electric. It's a hybrid electric. Electric in the, in the front. Uh, two electric motors in the front and an IC engine in the back. A concept vehicle that was de designed by the students at Clemson University in okay. collaboration with BMW Mini Cooper. Okay. As a team, they will design and build a vehicle. So they designed it from scratch, and then in the second year of their master's degree, they actually build it. Wow. Uh, What's the, the transmission in it? From here, it looks like that's a... So the, you have two, two uh, electric motors in the front here. Okay. And they're actually not connected to the rear at all. So the... Because I see the shift boot, the, but... Yeah, the shift is, the, is, uh, is not a... Okay. The shifter is not a... Uh, okay. They actually control it as a, as a hybrid vehicle. So there's no shifting involved. So okay. We call it rocker cooling. So the rocker panels on the side of the car, he noticed that that's not being used for anything other than structure. So they've actually run coolant lines through the rocker panels and designed them like a, um, a fin, like a heat, heat dissipator fin. And uh, when you drive, you get air in through the front wheel well and out the yeah. rear wheel well, and it actually, that helps cool the car. So that's where they have their battery cooling. That allows the battery to sit lower and you get yeah. more interior space. What would the development cost in something like that be? I'm not sure I'm allowed to give a hard number. Yeah. But we are in the seven figures on, on this car. Wow. Um, it, is, it is an expensive project. Most sure. of them can do it in six figures. Well, what about this? A, an I-8 Roadster. Wow. It's 166. No, this is WRX. Get out of here. Oh my god, but look at that R8 though. All right guys, so I had to switch over to the GoPro. My camera battery died, I used all 100% of it. Uh, we were there probably, what, two hours, two and a half hours? And it was a pretty good turnout. It was surprising to see that that one guy owned, we came up with 10 cars, owned all 10 of those supercars and hypercars. Really probably cool collection. Five million dollars. At least, yeah. What was your favorite car from really, specific I one? I really like that BMW. The gray one? The yeah. M4, or M3. And Ooh, I like I that know. white and red Porsche that that man the 911R? Yeah. That was pretty sweet. That's the first time I've ever seen one in person. I think the 918 was my favorite. I just like the yellow. All right guys, so that sums up our first adventure to Eurofest 2018. It was really fun. I wish there were a lot more cars though. It kind of seemed like a, a normal cars and coffee, but nonetheless, it was still a cool event. If you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next video.